Welcome to this Git and GIFs video, the series where we explain Git concepts using the universal language, GIFs. In this video, we'll take a look at the working directory, staging area, and the difference between local and remote repositories. Hi, my name is Brendan O'Leary, and you can reach me on Twitter at O'LearyCrew, or on GitLab at gitlab.com slash Brendan. Sometimes getting started with Git can be confusing just because of all the specialized terms working directory, repository, and other Git constructs. But understanding each will help you better understand Git and have a deeper understanding of the Git workflow. First, the working directory is maybe the simplest of all. It's just the folder on your computer where your code lives. Just like any other directory, you can freely add, delete, and change files as you see fit. Once you have some or all of the code ready to go, you'll notice that running Git status shows you all of the changes you've made. You can either stage all of those changes or part of them and get them ready to commit with git add. This allows you to include all changed files or select which to include in order to group together similar changes. Once the right changes are staged, you'll see there's files under changes to be committed when running git status. Now that the right changes are staged, it's time to commit. A commit just saves a snapshot of that point in time and includes a message about the commit that lets you tell others or yourself what the commit does. Don't be afraid. You can always commit early and often, much like I like to mash the Control or Command S key on my keyboard. Git commit adds those changes with the message you write to the local copy of the Git repository on the branch you're working on. So that local repository is just simply an entire copy of the Git repository, but on your computer. Once you're ready to share your changes with the world, all you have to do is update the remote repository from your local one. Git push automates that process, allowing the changes you've made or are proposing to be seen by your whole team. That also makes a backup of sorts of all your committed changes in the sense that they are now on the remote server as well on your, as your, on your computer. And that's it. While there are specific terms that allow folks to disambiguate between what they mean when talking about a Git workflow, you can see that the concept behind them is very simple. You can go from your regular file system on your computer to deciding what changes to commit in the staging area. Once they're committed, they're in your local repository as a snapshot forever, and you'll share that snapshot with the remote repository to let others see and collaborate on your changes. Thanks for watching this GitLab Git and GIFs video. If you have other ideas for Git and GIFs, please reach out to me on Twitter at O'LearyCrew, and see you in the next one.